Why, hello there. It's me, Cheesecake the Cat. Thanks for stopping by. Are you ready to draw today? I am. So, so far, we have drawn a shark, a Portuguese man of war, a jellyfish, and a puffer fish. Today, we're going to draw the things that you will find on a coral reef. Seaweed, sea anemone, and sea urchin, and, of course, coral, a few different types. If that sounds fun, grab something to draw with and something to draw on and follow me. So now we will draw our coral reef, or rather the parts of a coral reef. So the first thing we will draw will be a lumpy line of coral. You can make a flat or a very round, whatever you like. Next, we're going to draw a big bubble shape. This will be our brain coral. It doesn't have to be perfect. And inside, we'll fill it full of J shapes and S's and squiggles. You just put them wherever you like. And there's no right or wrong. There will be some pieces on the edge, like that. Just fill them in. Just keep going until you can't fit it anymore. And there's our nice brain coral. Another type of coral looks a little bit like tubes. So first, let's draw another chunk of coral. Now these look sort of like rectangles, but you'll notice that the tops and the corners are round. So let's make three in the front. That one's very round. A little short one over here. Then we'll put a taller one behind it. And maybe one over here. And then one really tall one there. Next, we'll make a little C shape at the top, like that. Sort of like a capital C lying on its back. We'll do that for each coral. Look at that. And now we'll draw a line, one long line, some short lines underneath it. Now try to keep these all on one side. They're a little bit curved. We'll go all the way down. You'll notice if I keep them all to one side, the next type of coral will look sort of like twigs and branches. So here we'll go up, over, and it looks like an arm. And we'll just keep going up and put little fingers and just draw another one. Look at that. Now there's like a shorter one over here with just two fingery little parts. Well, there are also things like sea anemones and sea urchins on the reef. So here, well, our sea anemone will look a little bit like this, but very short. And we'll make fingery little shapes like that. Some straighter, wavy, some hanging out to the side, and then in behind them, we'll put a little bit of a U shape behind each one. We'll add a couple little lines for some texture. Now the sea anemone, the sea urchin, will look around like a brain coral, except much smaller. Now with long spikes or spines, we'll space them out quite a bit, because in between, like that, we're going to cross the line with a slightly shorter spine. 
and just keep going and getting shorter as you go. And that's our sea urchin. Next, there are other creatures like sea stars or starfish. So we'll draw some more coral there and let's put a sea star right here. Make a triangle shape, an arm triangle. And remember they have five. Let's keep going. One here and one there. And there's our starfish. And the last thing we want to draw will be seaweed. Now the seaweed can be, some will be standing, make a wavy line. And from the top down, but keep it apart at the bottom. We'll do some more. I've connected this one partway up because it's behind the first one. And then another one over here. Look at that, some seaweed. Now let's do some seaweed that's blowing in the current. See how he's leaning over? We'll make another one here and one more up here. See how it looks like he's blowing in the current? Now the last thing I will do, put in a few dots like that, just random dots. One or two there. Maybe here, I tend to keep them sort of on one side of the reef. These are on one side, so I'll keep these on the same side. Now, which side do you choose to put these on is up to you. And each reef will add a few. See how nice it's starting to look? Put a couple over here, a couple down here. A bunch there, that's pretty high. A bunch here, a bunch here. Now these are the pieces of our coral reef. And later, we will put them into a bigger picture. So good job. Wow, it sure was fun drawing all that stuff you find on the coral reef. I can't wait to put it together with the sea creatures we learned to draw before. If that sounds like fun, be sure to come back next time and draw with me. And until then, draw, 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 and draw some more. Bye-bye.